Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would do something a little bit more chill, a little bit like easier to film. I just thought I would like take you through my like autumn winter like staples in my wardrobe. So just pieces of clothing that I think should well, maybe not should, but like would be useful in everybody's wardrobe. Bits that just go with everything that are like easy to throw on. Kind of a bit like a capsule wardrobe, I guess. Or like, it's like, I think it's the same kind of thing. But if you are new here, my name's Abby. Normally I film kind of like cozy vlog type content, super, super seasonal. I just like love this time of year. So a lot of my content's been seasonal. Um, but yeah, today I just thought I'd film something a little bit different. I'm not doing much today, so there's nothing really for me to vlog. Um, yeah, I thought we would do a, just like a, like a fa little fashion video, talk you through bits that I've got in my wardrobe that I think just go with everything, easy to throw on, that kind of thing. So firstly is, I'm actually wearing one now, to be fair, like these are so easy to wear under jumpers or just like on their own is like a couple of different colors of like long sleeved high neck tops. And I think specifically high neck because you can like see it if you're wearing sweatshirts. And I think it just gives it like a slightly more like elevated look if you're wearing like just a sweatshirt or like one of these like corset zip type tops. I've got three of these. So obviously I've got like the black one, the white one and this like taupe color. My wardrobe is like super neutral. So this like little taupey color will go with like almost everything in my wardrobe but if you're more into like color stuff like that then I think for like this time of year obviously going into like the festive season I think like maybe a burgundy one would be really nice I think burgundy is gonna be like a big color this year I don't know if it's normally like a popular color I don't remember it being that popular last Christmas um I remember when I was in like year nine it was like mega popular like everything i wanted like had to be burgundy like i don't really know where i'm going with that like burgundy scarf that kind of thing um but yeah i think it's gonna be like a really popular color for like accents like scarves bag even like coats and bits like i've seen a lot of like things in primark that um have like a little burgundy color to it but yeah mostly the things in this video are gonna be neutral because that is like my wardrobe color next is jeans so this is like really obvious like for me i only really wear like straight leg or like i think the other type is like boyfriend jeans or flares actually i do have a pair of flares but i mostly wear them to work but yeah so the two that i think are staples are light denim so i used to think that light wash denim was more of like a summer thing but it does look really nice with like neutral colors which i more often wear in the autumn winter but like mostly all year round um but i think a light wash denim looks nice with like neutral colors like jumpers coats that kind of thing so i've got in this video a light wash pair of denim so the ones i have and the ones i like the most do have like rips in so maybe not that seasonally appropriate because like it's a bit colder so but i do also have a pair that like don't have rips in but i just prefer the ones that have the holes and also just like a black pair because black just goes with everything i actually don't have a pair that don't have like the pockets on the sides but that's fine like they're still like black straight wash jeans they'll go over everything i have seen people wearing like skinny jeans more recently i don't know if that's like an age thing because like most people that I've seen on TikTok talking about skinny jeans and them coming back into fashion are also like in their like mid to late 30s. So I know skinny jeans were like so popular back when I was in school and I was obsessed with them and I had them in like every colour, blah, blah, blah. And I don't have anything against skinny jeans, but I just don't think they look like... I just don't think they look good anymore on me. Like, I don't know if that's because my body's changed or just because like fashion has kind of changed and I'm more of like a, I just, I'm a trend follower. Like I'm just, I'm just a basic bitch. Okay. Like I don't like skinny jeans anymore, <laughs> but I did see someone on, on TikTok talking about them and I was like, mm, maybe they're coming back. But for me, I don't care for skinny jeans anymore. Like I will only wear like wide leg jeans just because 
I think for me, they just look a bit more flattering. So yeah, in terms of trousers, obviously we've got like the light wash denim and then the black denim. And then also in this, I have included like, like skirt slash skirt. So for me, I prefer skirts just because I don't have to worry about like the wind, like blowing my skirt up or like the skirt riding up because that happens to me all the damn time. So I've got a, I've got a dark brown skirt and I've got a black skirt and they serve two different purposes really. So the black I've put with like darker outfits, like this cute little cardigan from H&M. And then the brown I think works a lot better with like the lighter color sweatshirt. So I've got like this one that I'm wearing now or just like the white high neck top, long sleeve top. So yeah, they both serve two different purposes. So they would go with like two separate, like opposite color outfits, if that makes sense. Cause you're apparently not really meant to match black and dark brown together, but I think it depends on what the situation is. Yeah, so that's why I've got the dark brown and the black. And these are both like really, really cute. I love these pieces like so much, but for me, the brown skirt just doesn't really look right with tights. So you can only really wear it for like a couple months in autumn before it gets like way too cold to have your legs out anyway. I did take it to America with me and it was great because America was actually boiling in September still. So if you're in the US, then, you know, good for you. That works so well. <laughs> and um, this skirt is actually from TikTok shop as well. It was literally like five pounds. So uh, the brown one, I mean, it's just like so good. I love it. It's like really flattering. Um, annoyingly, the skirt portion of it does like really ride up on me, but I think I've just got like really wide hips and like, as soon as I gain weight, it all goes to my ass. So that doesn't help. But the fact that it is like a, like a sports type skirt, I don't think looks horrific if you can see like the shorts underneath the skirt bit. So that's the only thing that like allows me to wear it basically. Otherwise it would be way too short. And then still for trousers, I have included some more like flowy comfortable ones because for me, if I'm like having a chill day, but still want to be like somewhat put together, I do a lot more often opt for like these flowy loose trousers. So I've got a pair, I've got a light pair. So I've got this like beigey, like sand type color. And then I've also got a black pair, which again, like the light pair for like lighter top outfits and then the black pair for like darker outfits. Um, I would include these as staples just because I choose comfort most of the time, to be honest. So, so if I'm not planning on like leaving the house at all, I will just wear pyjama bottoms, to be honest. But if I'm like going to leave the house, but like don't want to put too much effort in, these are the trousers that I'll probably wear because they're just like so comfortable, but they like still look nice enough to leave the house. They're not exactly like pyjama bottoms or joggers. So yeah, I wear these like all the time. Okay, so moving on from trousers and like high neck tops i've put a couple of sweatshirts in so it's kind of difficult with sweatshirts because everyone's got their own like taste and style like some people don't wear sweatshirts that kind of thing but for me i think it's important to have like a light a dark and then like a neutral like in the middle so this one i'm wearing now i would say is like a light staple because it's not like too patterned where it like is the main focal point of the outfit but it's like a little bit more than kind of just a hoodie so this i would say is a staple this is actually only from primark um they were really popular when primark was selling these so i'm sure like most people probably have this sweatshirt to be honest and i would wear this with like light wash jeans or like the light colored comfortable trousers and then obviously as i'm wearing it now with the like top long sleeved high neck top underneath and then also in this, I don't know if this is considered to kind of be like a Christmas jumper, but I absolutely love this. This I got on Depop uh, like a year or two ago. And I'm just disappointed that I can't wear this like more often because it is just like, I actually think it's like really cool. And you just don't see kind of like jumpers like this so much. And I feel like it's more, 
you more common to find in America, I think. I don't know where it's from originally, but this I just wanted to include this in this video, but this is not really a staple. But um, it comes under the category of sweatshirt, so it would kind of be a staple, I guess. And I would kind of wear this either with or without like the white long sleeved top underneath, and then. I I don't think I would wear light wash jeans with this just because I think it's too much blue. I think I would either put this with the like beige trousers or maybe even the black trousers to be honest. But yeah, I absolutely love this sweatshirt and I'm always so excited to wear this every year. And then four dark sweatshirts. So this is obviously more specific to fall, but I've got this sweatshirt from Next, which is actually from like a pajama slash lounge set but i just love the fact that this is like awesome specific it's super cute and the blue truck actually goes really well with like a pair of light wash jeans so this one like super easy to put an outfit together and i just love how like cute and autumnal it is and then lastly moving on to like coats and jackets so this one is it's actually like an all-time favorite of mine like i've had this for years but in the UK, it doesn't always get cold enough to like justify wearing it. Like I remember like a couple of years ago, it like would get like freezing at night, like so cold. Like I remember Christmas shopping in Exeter and like wearing this coat and still being like kind of cold. But over the last couple of years, I can't really recall the time where I thought like, wow, it's really cold outside. Like I'm going to need to wear something like this, which is actually kind of sad because I want to be able to like layer up, like bundle up in a scarf and like a really fluffy coat. But hopefully like the temperature will drop this year and I'll be able to wear this coat. But this one, great for like a light neutral outfit. So cute. It kind of gives me like winter wonderland type vibes, like not like the London way, but like the Lapland way, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I really like this jacket. Then for like a more warmer tone, like middle ground coat, I've got this long one. Again, this is another one I've had for years and this is from Primark actually. I think it, I must have had it for like five years now maybe. But this actually kind of just like makes an outfit like a little bit more like smarter or like put together. And I really, really like this with Kind of like a sweatshirt and like straight leg jean or like a darker outfit because of the black buttons on it. it kind of goes really nicely and then i've got this little black chile i actually got this when i was in prague it's only from h&m but i don't think the uk stores actually got this one in and it was definitely cheaper because i only paid like the equivalent of 15 pounds for it but i love this this looks kind of like a little bit extra stylish like if you want to put like a little bit more effort in then like this is really nice with like even one of just like the high neck tops like i would probably wear like maybe even like an all black outfit or put one of my sweatshirts underneath it and then just this over the top it's mainly for the look to be honest because it doesn't provide that much extra warmth i guess but i just wanted to include it because i thought it was like a cool little piece that's just like nice to have this time of year and then lastly this is also kind of like more winter wonderland vibes as well but this is i think a bit more on like the smarter side but it's like this fluffy gray coat this goes with actually either light or dark outfits which is why i decided to include it because it's just like a nice all-rounder piece it's nice and warm and i just think it looks really cute but yeah so that concludes my like awesome winter capsule wardrobe staples whatever you want to call it obviously not everyone's gonna have like all of these pieces in their wardrobe it's more of just like a maybe like inspiration video but to be fair a lot of people do have like black jeans high neck tops that kind of thing so if you're wanting to condense your wardrobe or like declutter or kind of put these pieces to one side so it's easier to throw an outfit together then i think a lot of these bits will like mix and match so so yeah i just thought i would put together a couple of outfits yap about them and that will conclude today's video. So I know it's a bit of a random one. I am, I think, better at filming vlogs and like editing vlogs than I am. Like the sit down and like chats or like written videos, if that makes sense. Like I'm more myself when I don't have to like think about what I'm gonna say, if that 
makes any sense yeah anyway thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy then please feel free to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye